it, has it seemed like it's gone by so fast? Yeah, that's actually uh, an unfortunate thing about high school soccer. You, you're having uh, so much fun, and the games come, you know, three games a week, four games a week sometimes. It all comes so fast that you don't realize that it's single elimination in playoffs and you could be out in any game. And it's, it's unfortunate, but the season has to come to an end. Right. Um, your season last year, you know, wasn't all that great. But talk about this year, and you guys turned it around. And um, It was definitely a lack of... Uh, dedication last year there weren't really enough kids that came to the practices and that's their fault as well as the coach's fault but this year we kind of uh, turned it around our captains got the team together and said we need to make sure that we all focus and do the, uh, the the right things this year to get this team on track and I think we really came together as a unit we had a lot of seniors I played with a lot of the kids since I was really really young so that really helped I think to help us all come together okay now that it's over, you've had a chance to think about it. What would what would you say is your your proudest accomplishment as a? Um, <laughs> it would have to be uh, beating East Lake in the district finals. I scored the uh, the last PK to beat them, and I knew uh, the goalie, and I knew a lot of kids on the team, so that was fun. I played club soccer with them, so I got to go and uh, brag about it <laughs> that weekend. So that was a lot of fun. I would say. I'll probably remember that for a while. Yeah. Talk yeah. about your process during a PK. Like, what do you, what do you think? Um, what, what do you, what's the plan? I've taken a lot of – Sean, uh, the goalie, I've taken a lot of PKs on him before because we play on the same club team. So I kind of knew his thought process on PKs. I usually try to read the goalie and then see which way they're going to go, and then I go the other way. But I knew Sean could get to the corners because he's a very good goalie. So my idea was – and I saw that he was going early on other kids, so I was just going to go down the middle. I just chipped it down the middle and – he went early and it went in. How big of a shot as far as uh, how you would rank it in terms of your uh, your career? Um, I play center back, so I usually don't score that many goals. So I would say it's it's pretty far up there. <laughs> so you had fun with Sean at, when you saw him at club practice? Yeah, we're, we're, we're friends, so we just joked around a bit. He he was pretty mad after the game, uh, but we, calm, we calmed down and we were all good the next day. We had a good joke about it. He, he went and studied film and... We played him again in regional semis, and I, if we had to take a PK on him, I wasn't really looking forward to it because mm. scoring on him twice would not have been easy. <laughs> exactly. Um, what about future plans? Um, I want to go to Vanderbilt, uh, not on a soccer scholarship, but uh, academically. Uh, that's my hope. It comes out April 1st, so we'll see. You'll find out April 1st? Yeah. Okay. So we'll see what happens. Um, so you're you're almost done with soccer. You mentioned that you have some club. You, mm -hmm. You're out for another three weeks, then you have some club games, and and then you'll you'll put the game aside. Um, I hope to play club soccer in college. There's three levels of soccer in college. There's intramural, and then there's club, and then there's Division One. And club, they still travel. You still represent the school. You still play in an SEC conference if it would be at Vanderbilt. So it's still a good, fun, competitive environment, I think, a bit more than intramural soccer would be. So I still think it would be a really fun time, and I plan to do that. Okay. How long have you guys played on the same club team? Just a year. Yeah, just a year. Okay. We've known each, each other for a while. Yeah. Though. Okay, and how's that? How did you? Well, she played on the older team, so we always practiced with them. And, I mean... That's yeah, we trained together. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you built up the friendship mm -hmm. yeah. from there. Okay. And then fast forward to uh, playing against each other and uh, what, what that was like. <laughs> oh, gosh. That was a tough game for us. Yeah, I mean. for us too. It was the hardest game of the season for sure. <laughs> now, had you ever, ever played against each other before? No. No. Okay. Just like club practice. Yeah, no, not high school though. And when was that game? Uh, playoff in the playoff ladder. What, what? Regional finals. Regional finals. Yeah. Okay. Um, and and just talk about the game and the pressure of playing. And I mean, obviously, there's so much at stake, and yeah. one of you can't go on. And yeah, the other it was one definitely of you. hard for us coming in. Like it was in our home field, and they had an awesome fan base and stuff. So it was a lot of pressure going in there. And then the team they had from everyone on their bench, they're all good players. So it was just really stressful. I mean, it was hard for us. We were playing defense the whole game. We probably got in your half, like, what, like twice? Yeah, and then you did, you scored. So. Yeah, <laughs> off of a free kick. Which hey, who kicked a free kick? That was me. <laughs> 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 but um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And you went up top, and that was awful because we had to defend against you, and defending against you is not fun ever. Yeah, you guys had, like, I felt like it was a brick wall they had in the defense. Like, you, you just couldn't get past them. And they were just playing so smart that it was wow. hard to get a chance to get a shot on net or get past any of them.
It was a very defensive game for us, intense, all of us. Talk but. about your goal. Walk me through it. Oh gosh. Um, well, someone. I'm not sure not who me. got. I'm not, not sure me. who got the free or the handball. So on the record, it wasn't Carly, right? Yeah. It was not Carly. But um, I mean, I don't know what happened. Like I kicked the ball and it went straight on the ground the whole way. I don't know how yeah, that possibly it took didn't. a deflection off of somebody in our wall. And yeah. Just it, back in the net. Yeah. I mean, it was lucky, but it was. It was exciting. Right, uh, was it the greatest goal of your life? Probably because we went to states because of it. So, I mean, yeah, I guess so. I guess you could say that. But you're a defender. There aren't many. Center back. Goal, center back. So it's. Yeah. You know. Um. During like playoffs, I was able to get in the box a lot for like header or for like corner kicks and free kicks. So that gave me a lot of opportunity to score. But other than that, I'm in the back line. <laughs> You had a good view of that goal, I'm guessing. What was your reaction? I mean, you saw it yeah, rolling. Yeah, it was, it really, it, it was just, I don't even know how to describe it. We just jumped in the wall and it took a deflection and our goalie didn't know it was going to go that way. None of us did. And just from there, we knew we had to get going if we wanted to have a chance in that game. But That being said, though, you guys had a great season. And, yeah. You know, just talk about it overall and, and You've had a you've had a good career there. Yeah, it was it was a good way to end four years there. Definitely an undefeated season, regular season. Couldn't ask for more. I mean, it was a great team and stuff. So. Right. Uh, what about your future plans? Um, I'm going to go to Auburn University to play soccer. How tough of a choice was that for you? I'm mean, sure you had options. Uh, it was a tough choice, especially with my sister playing at University of Florida. A lot of people wanted me to go there, and I, I, I just knew where I wanted to go, and it was Auburn. So. So, uh, for you, how about you were um, asking some of the proudest accomplishment uh, of for high school? For high school soccer, yeah. Um, last year we went to states. That was fun. A lot of my best friends. They all graduated, and then this year we went to states as well, which was, I mean, it's just such a great experience. Like it's not like a regular high school game. You're going to a college, playing on their field, um, high intensity, but it's fun. I mean, that's probably my best. My best moments in high school. Okay. Yep. Talk about the pressure of playing at PHU because you guys are almost expected to win or at least get there every year. It is hard, especially this year because half our starting lineup last year graduated. So everyone thought we were going to be like a building year this year. I mean, which we thought everyone did, but like it was good. Like we didn't, no one expected us to make it as far as we did, and it's quite an accomplishment. What's it like playing for Coach Planamena? Can you joke around with him? Is he oh, is most sarcastic person I've ever met, ever. Like, he's the coolest coach, though. Like, I, both of them, Coach Southern, too, they're both sarcastic. Like, they're serious when it comes to the games and practices, but, like, seeing them in the hallways and stuff, always joking around, they're, it's just the best being around them. So you've had some pretty fun bus trips? Oh, yeah, a lot of fun. I mean, we haven't... We don't really travel on bus, but when we do, like everyone, everyone loves it. So. Do you have like funniest moment of the season or anything that you can actually say? Oh gosh, uh, there's too many. I mean, definitely Coach P. Like when we're taking pictures, like he'll grab my phone and we'll be like, Coach P, can you take a picture of us? He'll be taking selfies of himself or like we have so many pictures of our whole team with a selfie of him. Like it's great. I mean, not many coaches joke around like that, which is fun. It makes a good environment. Victoria. Victoria. Okay. I'd rather Victoria. So, <laughs> okay. We'll obviously go with whatever yeah. you want. So you want to do the introduction thing? Um, just say your name and your high school. Uh, Victoria Kanata, Land Lakes High School. Okay, uh, and just talk about um, overall kind of your, your proudest accomplishment uh, while at Landlake. Are you a senior, right? Junior. Junior. Okay, uh, proudest accomplish accomplishment this season? Um, definitely making it to states was one of our goals this season. A step further every season is what my our goal was. Um, so from regional final to state final, now next year, hopefully state championship. But um, that was one of the biggest accomplishments for us, was just making it to states. Uh, after that, it was just, like, extra. Sure. How, 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 talk about that experience, though. Uh, it was amazing. It was something that it really brought the community together. It brought our school together. Um, it was just awesome. Like, you wouldn't think that you would get much out of a high school sport, but it's just amazing. Something I'll take with me forever. 
So the the not just the school, but the city of Land O'Lakes was was behind you. Like you were hearing it if off campus as well. Yeah, you could walk into any really Publix anywhere with the Land O'Lakes shirt on, and they would just congratulate you on your season and making it as far as we did. So. Wow. When you were a freshman there, did you think that that was possible? I was a freshman at Chapel Wesley Chapel High School. Wow. Ah, so you transferred to Land O'Lakes. Yes, I moved in with my dad. My middle of my freshman year. Okay. But last year, I definitely knew we could do it. Okay. So. All right. How cool is it to be included in company with those girls? And I mean, you're you're considered, you know, the best in Pasco County and one of the three best in Tampa Bay. I mean, uh, did, did you ever imagine you'd be able to rise to this kind of level as far as <laughs> soccer goes? No, it's crazy. Like, I look up to them so much as the, they're at my club and just playing with them so much and having a role model really even if they're from a different county it's just nice to have someone to like want to be like and have goals and you know you guys are all at the same club okay. we're all at the same club we train together what club uh west florida flames oh yeah okay. <laughs> yeah that's the name of the i did club. not know that you were here so that's cool yeah wow. we all three are so but, but they would be a year older yeah they're you. u18 i'm u17 ah. but getting okay. to guest play with them is amazing oh you have okay mm -hmm. Uh, and how many goals did you have this year? Like I believe 40? 41 or 42. I'm okay. not sure if the PK counted in the, um, did it count? Yeah, oh, it sure. counts, sure. Yeah. Wow. So, 42. Um, at Atlanta Lakes, you've had some big time scores. I'm sure you heard uh, Stacy Bishop uh, went there yeah. um, and scored a ton of goals and stuff. <laughs> uh, how often do you hear her name and uh, are those goals that you set for yourself now? Uh, every day I walk in and see her uniform, her retired jersey in the locker room and just seeing all her goals from her past seasons. It like it motivates me to score more. Last year I scored 27 goals. This year I scored 41. So every year I just want to you just want to keep getting better, scoring more goals, um, taking your team further as a leader, just like she was. Do you have a shot? Like, is there a particular, like, when you get the ball in a certain spot, it's big trouble for the other team? Um, anytime I get the ball in the attacking third, it's just trouble. Yeah. <laughs> it's trouble. <laughs> is it a mentality, though, of, of you know, what, that, you know, a striker's mentality? Yeah, you, there is, you know, the, you, having a mentality to want to score goals is will help you score goals. So when you get the ball and you you know, like, it, you got to put the defense on their heels and just go at them. So that's the mentality you have to have as a striker. And do you like being the one that they look at as, like, you know, Victoria's going to score <laughs> if we're going to... Yeah, um, you know, my, t our, my high school team in general is just solid. So we have, we'll go against teams and they'll be like, oh, watch Tori, Mark Tori. But then I'll get the ball and just give it to one of my teammates and they'll come out of nowhere. And that's what really, that actually is what shocks teams a lot, is our, is our, what we have on... Like, the, even our bench, we're just solid. Okay. Just talk about, um, I'm just asking all these guys, uh, proudest accomplishment this season? Um, our proudest accomplishment would be the King Tournament. Uh, we won that three times now, and it's only been available three times. And, yeah, let's just keep winning that. Okay. Um, and you are a goal scorer, right? I mean, how many did you get this year? 39. 39. Just talk about the mentality it takes, what it, you know, what it uh, is is uh, like scoring goals like that? Um, mostly it's just being calm whenever the opportunity uh, prevails itself. Um, just letting instinct and, and your, te your te uh, technique take over and just scoring them. Did you have to develop into a goal scorer or did you kind of um, always been that way? For club, I usually play, I just play like wherever. Right now, I'm actually playing like a center back role. So it just, I don't know, it just comes natural most of the time because I, I mean, I don't train at it a lot. We don't really usually do a lot of shooting. We used to like back then, but that was that was a while ago. Okay. And how far did you guys get in the playoffs again? We lost the first round oh, against did Newsom, you? yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Newsom's a good team, right? Um, and how about your future plans? Um, I'm going to go to UCF, not uh, for soccer. Um, our head coach at Riverview uh, is thinking about talking to the head coach, trying to get me a tryout or whatever. But for now, it's just going to UCF just uh, to attend school there. To go to school. And you yeah. might play soccer there. Yes. And, uh, I will uh, definitely play like intramural or, intramural or club okay, for sure. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. So you're not, you're not really done playing. Yeah. You still try and play uh, as much as you can. Okay. Is there any significance to the number eight for you? 
Um, yes. Um, when I was growing up to, uh, like, whenever I started playing soccer, it was around five. But whenever I started watching soccer, it was around, I want to say around, like, 10-ish, 11-ish. And um, my, my favorite team has been you, and it's always been. And Rooney used to wear number eight, and that's who I, that's my favorite player. And then also, um, since I used to play midfield, um, Steven Gerrard and Frank Lampard were number eight, so I thought it was pretty cool. Okay. Have you always been number eight? Um, for high school, no, but for club, yes. For high school, freshman year, I was 23, and then I was 10. And then junior year and senior year, I got to get number eight. They don't let you pick when you're younger, I guess, as no. freshmen. Yeah. 23 was because Michael Jordan was a great soccer player, right? <laughs> yeah, 23 is the best sport? number available. He did, didn't he leave basketball to go try and play soccer? I think he did, something like that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so. um, yeah, you're pretty much given the jersey as a freshman, right? Yeah, whatever it's just know. whatever's left. You just and that's all play. at Riverview, right? Yeah. Okay. Man, so you must have like the Riverview record for most games yeah. played or something, right? Well, I tied it. Did you say, really? Yeah, really. Oh, okay. Yeah, I tied it. Uh, it was 62. 62 games you yes. played at Riverview. And if you had won just one more. Yeah, if we would have won that game, I would have had that record. Wow. Along with the other ones. How many That's records right. do you have at Riverview total? Um, I have most goals in season, most goals in a game, most goals in career, most points in a career and season. And I also have the most assists in a career. Wow. So 